I am very excited to share with you my absolute most favorite accessory in this whole house. But obviously I can't tell you that right now. We have to save the best for later. If you don't already know, my name is Chloe, this is Mochi, and we live in a school bus. We're gonna start with some of my other favorite things, but not the absolute pinnacle of tiny house living. <laughs> Collapsible measuring cups. I feel like collapsible something is in every tiny house. I was lucky enough that my mom already had these. And I don't just have this one. I have all the, you know, the hits. These are great because my junk drawer or my kitchen drawer is really shallow. So these just slip right in there. And all told, um, all together, they're probably just like take up that much space. I have a teeny tiny can opener. We keep a lot of canned foods in this house because um, not having to refrigerate things is ideal. And I took a long time trying to figure out how it was going to store an enormous, normal sized can opener. Um, and then I found this little doohickey. Um, the brand on it is called Joseph and Joseph, and it was genuinely the only teeny tiny can opener I was able to find. If you know of others, you know, share your wealth of knowledge, please. Continuing with the kitchen theme, we have these, which I actually got way before I started living tiny. I purchased them to bring um, to work when I was meal prepping, but this is a set of three nesting containers that can nest with the lids on. I don't know why it's so hard to find, but it is. And because they're stainless steel, I can put them right on my camp stove to heat up leftovers. I do want to mention that none of these material items are life-changing or, you know, awe-inspiring. You absolutely don't have to go out and buy these right now, and I would encourage you not to do that. Um, I think that making do with what you have is always the best case scenario. Something that I have had since I can remember. Um, it was gifted to me from a family member a long, long time ago that I never realized was going to be a really awesome tiny living hack almost, is this jewelry organizer. It keeps everything from getting tangled up and it just has a normal little hanger on it so it fits right in my closet. If you don't have a hanging closet, that's not going to work for you, but you might be able to get one of these and just like fold it up so it lays like that. Um, but it keeps everything really nice um, and protects it. So that's been pretty clutch. One more item that's designed for normal everyday life that is actually a tiny living hack. One of these. If you cannot tell, I have had this since I was a preteen. Very fun. Um, this is where I used to keep all my CDs for my, you know, little portable CD player. Um, now it holds all my movies. I actually have two of these, not as fashionable as this one. 24 movies in here, my guys. Can you imagine how much space 24 movies would hold if they were all in their original cases? Maybe you want to keep Fast and Furious in its original case and you do whatever you want to do. But a lot of movies in your collection, I bet you could do without the case. I do enjoy a good movie, so if you have any recommendations, favorite movies, um, please let me know. I would love to hear them. The last thing is more of an organizational, neurotic thing <laughs> that I've had in my veins for my entire life, and that is organizing things by putting them all in bags. I put everything in a bag or some other form of organizational compartment. <laughs> and these, these are all thrifted. You can find these Ipsy bags at almost every thrift, thrift store. You can quote me on that. This I got in an antique shop. This was packaging from, I think, like essential oils. Um, but yeah, then you can just throw it all in a cabinet, in a drawer, in a basket, and it's still organized. Except for those special times when I decide to reorganize everything, I pretty much always know which bag I need to grab in order to do the activity that I'm trying to do. This used to be the packaging for cough drops. Now it holds my jewelry when I 
don't feel like putting it back in my hanging organizer. The moral of the story is that you probably already have something that you can use to organize things this way if you would like to. Um, and if not, uh, have fun finding something cool at an antique store or a thrift store. Okay, I think I've made you wait long enough. And the other cool thing about this item is that it's literally right here in my secret storage compartment. This is a vacuum. I have never purchased my own vacuum before this and it was a big deal. This is one of those that charges off of like a power tools charger and you could probably get like a DeWalt or a Makita one um, but this was the most compact with the best reviews that I could find and I love it very dearly. It comes with little you know attachments and I use it probably almost every day. It's so tiny and cute! Now that you've seen all my favorite tiny living accessories you can click here to see the favorite parts that I incorporated into the build itself. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your stay and I will see you next week.